All right, hey there, Prox News. This is Prox right here, and guys, welcome back to another episode of Isle of Armor. And in the previous episode, guys, we basically went and head on over to, I believe, what is called as the Challenge Cave. We actually went and headed on over there and uh, basically tried to hunt down for some max mushrooms, which we actually did did need to do for our next trial, which uh, basically Mustard told us to go on over to that cave, pick up some max mushrooms, and then uh, bring it on over back to him once we are done, and we can head on over to our last trial, because there are three trials in total here in the Isle of Armor, so I'm pretty excited. Now, as you guys are probably wondering, is that I'm back all the way over here, and uh, basically what I did off recording was is that uh, I was hunting down for the other rest of the other diglets, and uh, I actually found 65 diglets in total off recording, and uh, I, I did a lot of, uh, of searching around for all these diglets and apparently uh, if you actually go and talk over here to this guy uh, you can actually get tons of rewards from him he'll actually give you a uh, multiple amount of different Alolan uh, Pokemon uh, from from generation 7 so if you get like a total of I don't know I think it's like a five Pokemon or five diglets uh, you would actually get yourself a uh, Alolan Meowth and then later on he'll give you a Alolan Vulpix and then so on and so on and so on and apparently, if you get up to 150 uh, diglets in total, since there is 150, you can actually go and get yourself one of the Alolan starter Pokemon. And uh, I, and uh, basically, I'm going to probably do that uh, off recording because uh, trying to find all these diglets are really hard. And I was trying to search for them uh, basically yesterday, and absolutely hard. I only found only 65 of them, but there's still more to be to be remaining around here, so uh, it's, it's going to get a little bit difficult every time that you try and find one of these diglets, because they could be lurking anywhere. They could be hiding behind one of the one of the dens for the max raid battles. They could be hiding in any of the other places. Uh, but anyways, enough about me talking uh, about, about what I did off recording, but for this episode, we're going to go and head back over to Muster's place, get into our next trial, and uh, that's what's going to happen. But also, too, as you guys can probably tell, that we actually have a new partner on the team. We actually do have Rotom Lawnmower. Now, uh, basically, you can actually go and find all the different Rotoms here in the Isle of Armor. I actually found this one uh, actually lurking around uh, one of the uh, one of the other uh, islands uh, that was uh, kind of far away from the Isle of Armor from the mainland. And uh, that's where you can basically go and uh, evolve your Galarian Slowpoke into Galarian Slowbro. Uh, but yeah, I found that Rotom lurking around there. And uh, yeah, so uh, instead of us having a Turnus on the team, we're actually going to be having uh, Surge, our uh, Rotom Lawnmower here instead, just to basically help us out, have some Electric-type moves, some Grass-type moves along the way here. Has Leaf Storm, Discharge, Hex, and Charge. We still have our Shiny Jirachi here uh, with the Wish, Psychic, Zen Headbutt, and Return. Also still have my Shiny Haxorus as well with Outrage, Dragon Pulse, Source, Dance, and Giga Impact. Got Piccolo, who is back once again, still here on the team with Mr. No Break, Nasty Pawn, Life Dew. Also got Lionheart, our Galio with uh, Sword, Steel, Strike, Cosmic Power, Crunch, and Zed Headbutt. And we also have Keldeo that has Secret Sword, uh, Source, Dance, Hydro Pump, and Aqua Jet. And uh, yeah, that's basically everybody on the team. And uh, I should probably get healed up with Lionheart as well. Just to be in case, because uh, I believe uh, for the final uh, for the final trial, I think is that we actually do need to uh, basically uh, battle out both mustard and honey. So have to get prepared and actually get healed up before anything else. Now, also too, you can also find uh, Kadabras and Alakazams around here as well. So you can actually find the evolutions, uh, uh, well, the final evolutions of any of the Pokemon. Um, I also found a Volcarona around uh, around here somewhere, and uh, that one was actually a really difficult thing. I couldn't even capture out uh, Volcarona. That was actually a pretty hard Pokemon to, to get captured there, but but yeah, I got Rotom instead, so I'm pretty happy about that. And uh, as well, hope you guys are having yourself a good Saturday here. So uh, let's go and uh, see what Muster has to say. So hey there, Prox, welcome back. Looks like you nailed the trial. Yeah, we we had a little bit of a hard time trying to find the max mushrooms in the last episode, but we got it. So congrats on finding the max mushrooms. Trial number two was no problem for you. All my other students ended up getting lost in the forest. Turns out finding max mushrooms was at least of their problems. It's a shame, but I guess everyone other than Prox will fail the trial. Aw, oh, man. Well, at least we found them first. Well, first things first, a proper meal. Let's have some max mushrooms made into a delicious soup, uh, max soup, shall we? Oh no, that means we're going to be wasting some of our... Uh, oh, okay, I think they already have their own uh, max mushrooms. We don't have to worry about wasting our own. 
So yeah, basically having these max mushrooms, uh, I believe for the last episode, or for what I told you guys, is that if you use the max mushrooms, you can get yourself into some guy, get to maxing Pokemon that you can put, uh, that you can use those onto. Uh, like if you want to put it onto Bulbasaur or Squirtle, uh, you can also do that as well too. Uh, if you, uh, because I believe the the Bulbasaur and the Squirtle that they give you is actually a can get to maxing one, so you don't have to worry about that. It's just the other Pokemon you actually have to worry about. I did it, I did it. Uh, chin up, uh, darling Carla. You did it. This is a cause for celebration. What, did she find some max mushrooms too? Master, uh, Miss Honey, please, can I ask something just this once? I wanted to use my max mushrooms on the max soup. I really want to share my hard work with everybody here. Oh, Clara. Well, if that's your father, uh, well, 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 sorry. Well, if that's all that you're after, <laughs> not father, uh, 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 then I'm probably have to oblige. Uh, though is, uh, this is hardly the first time that you asked for something, and I rather, uh, doubt it will be the last. Oh, Miss Honey. I hope you don't feel that the thunder is being stolen, Prox, but we're family here and family share, so we'll go ahead and use Clara's mushrooms today. It's just so rare for her to try hard at something, and I really want to reward that. Uh, you understand, don't you? You can hold on to the max mushrooms you found, and I'm sure that it'll get, be good use for them. Yes, they will. Take those max mushrooms as an extra reward. So yeah, I don't know who I'm going to be putting the max mushrooms on to. Um, I know that uh, our Charizard is basically fine because the one that you get from Leon, I believe, is also uh, Gigantamax. So not to worry about that one either. So probably do it for like Butterfree or Snorlax or someone. No, you don't. Uh, that kind of thing doesn't happen if a human has soup. But things are a bit different when certain Pokemon drink the soup. You see that some Pokemon that have distinct potential, and when they drink the soup, their Dynamax form will change into a Gigantamax form. I'll keep one for our lads in the kitchen on the soup duty uh, from now on too, so you can ask him to serve up a fresh bowl of max soup whenever you need. Nice. Even though that we don't have one of our Gigantamax and Pokemon here with us for today, but I may probably do that uh, after when I finish off with this whole Let's Play. Really, so like, like this DLC expansion is not going to have a whole lot of parts, so you guys are going to probably be seeing at least like maybe three or four episodes here. This is episode three right now. So I guess we can go and talk on over to Honey or to Mustard, figure out what our next trial is going to be. Don't worry, the kid on the soup duty knows what he's doing. I made sure that I taught him well. Uh, okay, here we go. So I guess we'll uh, continue our way through here. It looks like uh, this is where our third trial is going to begin. So there you are, Prox Clara. Thanks for coming. So what's this all about, Master? What do you want to tell us? Well, I've decided that you two will now take on the Master's Jojo. The final last ultimate third trial. The final last ultimate third trial. Final? Uh, so basically this is the last trial. Uh, well yes, that's the guest of it. You two are the only ones who successfully finished out the second trial. You pushed each other to the greater heights and helped each other grow. So I say so uh, myself. It's finally time to see who's stronger in the Dynamax Pokemon battle. You're going to battle? That's the last trial? Yep, the rules are simple. Whoever wins to complete the trial. The winner who will be granted the secret armor of the Master Dojo. Well this is it, finally. But can I... The battle will be held at the Battle Court, behind the Master Dojo. I'm pretty certain that behind the Battle Court is going to probably be some Diglets lurking around there, too. Because you can basically find any type of Diglet anywhere. So this is going to be pretty awesome. Can't wait till we uh, do this thing. But, uh, I believe also, too, we should be at least uh, getting ourselves to Cub Foo soon, right? Isn't there a part that we should be uh, doing the Cub Foo thing now? Well, here it is. We're going to go behind the, the court here. Come on, man. There has to be a Diglett somewhere around here. Whoa, this is a big, huge court right here. Whoa. Well, if we want to go out with the bang, this is the place to do it. All right, let's go and talk over to Clara. Uh, you're here. When you uh, when I beat you, you'll get a secret armor. Now I'll become the poison type gym leader. Uh, I've got to win no matter what. I'm gonna go all out and totally beat you. You ready? Yes. Let's do this, man. It looks like you two are ready. Alright, so good luck. So I'm sure for both of you. Alright, you two, take your places. I wonder if we beat Clara, will we also be will we become the poison type gym leader? I don't know. This is gonna seem really weird. Master JoJo's final trial. Ready? Uh, 
Thank you. All right. Well, I think we already have the perfect Pokemon out here, and I think that'll be, uh... Well, not gonna be Surge, it's actually gonna be, uh, Lionheart. Okay. Uh, so, well, maybe, watch your step. Looks like Toxic Spike somehow got into the battle court. Oh, is that what you're gonna do? Well, I'll switch out over to Lionheart. We'll do some crunches. I don't know if this is going to be effective or not. Well, I could go for some psychic type moves because that is going to be super effective. Poison Fang. Does it affect me? Nice try. Nice try. You cannot destroy my Solgaleo, dude. I'm not going to go for a Dynamaxing just yet. I'm going to wait until she sends out her big Pokemon. Look at that. Literally destroyed. First one down. I think Lionheart's got this in the bag. We don't have to really worry about anything else here. Okay, let's just keep on in. Now, here comes the scary part, because this is going to be wheezing. Got another super effective Zen headbutt coming your way here, man. Take it. Oh, okay, he's actually still alive. Going for assurance. That shouldn't do that much. Nope, we're still good. Oh wow, that was actually super effective. I think one more should do the trick. At least he's not worrying about healing up our Pokemon. Which that's pretty nice, at least we don't have to worry about that. So that is her second one down. Nice, the Jirachi's not level 54. I'm still trying to get up my Jirachi up to, uh, up to around uh, our level still. I should have actually brought my Jirachi when it was like level 70 because because around the time when I was actually uh, bringing in my Jirachi I um, at the time I uh, I think when I got that shiny Jirachi I think it came in a mystery event I think or something like that it was like a code or something and I think it must have been a, a level 50 Pokemon at the time and uh, I just never got around the time to actually like grind up my Jirachi and I should have did that around the, around the time when uh, I was bringing all my Pokemon over. But it's all good. Not to worry. Oh, uh, here comes out the, the slow bro that is going to do some uh, some crazy things. So I'm going to go and probably set up a, uh, a Dynamax here for our Solgaleo. This is going to be pretty sick. Let's see this Dynamaxing Solgaleo. What the heck? Oh my god, that is so awesome. I have never seen a Dynamax Solgaleo like this. It's so big. Like, I wonder what would happen if you had a Regigigas here. I think Regigigas would literally take over the whole entire screen just because of him being Dynamaxed. Oh yeah? Okay. You asked for it, dude. You're gonna you're gonna get freaking destroyed out here. You got a max mind storm coming your way, man. <laughs> nice. Critical hit too at that. Not bad. Oh whoa, okay, now we got like some top lele type stuff going on here. Okay. Max geyser. Ouch, is that gonna hurt me? No, not even, not even at all. What the heck? Oh no, now it's starting to rain too. All right, well, not to worry. We'll set up another Max My Storm. Ooh, all right, well, that's a new ability. Quick Draw. I don't think I've ever seen what his, uh, what his ability was all about, but that's pretty interesting, Quick Draw. Because that another Max My Storm. Get out of here, dude. That should be at least your last Pokemon, right? Maybe not. She may probably have the whole six team on her side. Good job, Solgaleo. Nice, and we defeated Clara. Good job, Lionheart. And we get some nice, epic, good money as well, too. The victory has been decided.
The one to complete the third trial is you, Prox. That was amazing. What a fierce battle. Oh, well done. You both give it your all. So now I think we get her lead card or something. I don't know what happens here. Because I, I think I've seen a little bit of gameplay with this. So I was really trying, you know, as hard as I could. I mean, it's time for me to just give up on being a dream of a gym leader. Once they find out what I did, I'll expel from the dojo anyways. Prox, can you tell the master that I cheated? Um. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, oh no, you, uh, no need to tell me. Uh, you, can, you can't hide anything from a little me. A uh, master. I should apologize on Clara's behalf too as her master. What she did was wrong, but she didn't want to be beaten by her own rival, that's all. She's a good, hard-working student. Oh, thank you. I'm so sorry. As for your punishment, Clara, you are going to look after the Pokemon in the dojo for six months by yourself. What? I mean, yeah, uh, that's a lot of work, but is that all? Of course. Let, uh, let's work on your strengthening your heart. Okay. When do we get this Cub Blue Man? I'm so proud of you. You both, uh, you mustered so much effort, and I tried so hard. So I got so teared up that I couldn't even uh, see half the battle, but what I saw was amazing. So moving. I'm tearing up. Prox, give it your best and triumph even when you faced an unfair challenge. To you, who has completed all the trials. I grant the secret armor of the Master Dojo. It'll take some time to prepare, so I'll go ahead and get things sorted. And that's all, gang. As you were. Now, at some point, we actually do get to fight uh, both Honey uh, honey and Mustard uh, again at some point. But I think that's a little bit later on here. Nice. We got Clara's lead card. So you really are strong. Come on, man. There has to be at least... Aw. We can't head back over there. There's no Diglett. Alright. What do we got over here? What do you have to say, Mustard? Ah, oh, there you are. Prox, keeping this old man waiting. Hmm? What? I was just right behind you. I didn't keep you waiting. Uh, since you completed all three trials, I give you the secret armor of the Master Dojo. What is this? Now then, come on out. Yay, it's Cub Fu. Now, you guys wanted me to go for Rapid Strike Cub, uh, for Rapid Strike Urshifu, and that's exactly what I'm going to do for you guys. I just need to try to figure out on how this is, has to happen, though. How do we get the part of fighting Urshifu? He's like a, a, a much skinnier version of, like, Teddy Ursa. But he's pretty adorable, though. Because I like Teddy Ursa. Bear? This Pokemon is, in fact, the secret armor of the Master Dojo. Say hello to Kung Fu. I know, I know, it's tiny. But raised with intelligence, and it'll become strong enough to see you uh, through any battle. Just like the suit of armor. No opponent will be able to get past it. This one in particular has amazing potential, and the problem is that it's a bit shy. It doesn't seem to have much confidence in itself. But, so I was thinking, Prox, maybe if it joins you on your adventure, it'll help it break out of its shell a little bit. So, uh, so take care of Kung Fu, okay? It's in your hands now. Come on, join us. Like, this is so awesome. I really like Kupfu's design. So not bad. So I don't know, is Mustard gonna like tell us like how we can evolve into, into the both of its forms? Cause like, cause I'm not too entirely certain on how we have to do this here. Uh, what to name a Cub Fu? I have no idea, because, like, this is our first time seeing it, so, um, something kind of like, well, I already named, uh, a Pokemon after Ryu, I already named one after Ken, because, because of both my Mankeys, um, I did one for Guile, um, huh. I don't know. I'm trying to think. I got one for Guile. Guile was one. I got one for, uh... How I did one for Akuma? Yeah, I did one for Akuma. That was our, uh, our uh, other, uh, Gengar. Dang it, man. What other... Uh, I already got Zangief. What other boy-type Street Fighter character is there? Because, like, 
I'm starting to run out on stuff. Um. Oh uh, no. Um, I think there is one more, and I can't really remember what his name is. Uh, let's see, Street Fighter characters. Sorry about this, guys. I wish I knew what other type of Street Fighter characters that there were. Because it's been way too long since I played the Street Fighter games. Street Fighter characters. Let's see. I already did all of those. I already did them for M. Bison. Ah. Got it. We're going to name this thing Blanca. It's been a while since I used Blanca in any of my Street Fighter games because, like, I haven't really used them all that too much. I was more so of a of a Zangief type guy and a Akuma type guy. So I'm gonna go ahead and send it to the. Uh, well, actually, no. Let's add it to the party, of course. Because why not? We we have to put in it, ourselves a new Pokemon here onto our journey. So uh, I'm actually gonna be taking away Keldeo, unfortunately, because since we are gonna get ourselves another Water and Fighting type Pokemon, why not exchange Keldeo for uh, for Blanca instead? Alright, now the first things for you to do is become best friends with Kufu and you need to build trust. Kufu hasn't had, really had a chance to explore the world outside the dojo, so maybe it'll help you become a better friends if you uh, let it have a look around. Maybe take a, a spot at the great view of the Isle of Armor. I'll have my students stand at the good spots, so uh, just keep an eye out. Well, and of course having battles or camping out together will also help you become more friendly towards each other. So what else? Oh, I know. I hereby grant the permission to keep a Pokemon out, out of its Pokeball here in the Isle of Armor. You can now let your Pokemon at the head of your team and its Pokeball to take out for a stroll. Well, that is actually pretty nice. Hopefully that they could do that for Crown of Tundra as well. That is actually pretty cool. So I can actually have like Solgaleo running around with us. I would like to see that or like have our Haxorus around with us. Wow, we got a little bit of some heart gold and soul silver type thing coming back. That is pretty epic. So one day I'll like to be strong like you. Okay. What about uh, Honey? Does Honey have to say anything before we end off this? Oh, here we go. No, but we'd rather get uh, that many. What are you trying to say? Oh, bro, it's just a person I wanted to see. Do you collect Watts? Sure do. Of course you do. So you're such a pro at all of this. I'll have you know that the Watt business is positively booming right now around here. They say that they hold the most Watts hold to key success. I actually been trying to gather up Watts to spruce up the dojo a bit to get some more gear. Both my darling hubby and my son are in the indoor types, so you know. It's pretty hard for me to collect as many Watts all on my own. So if you happen to come and have some Watts to spare products, I'll be glad to take them. Oh, but I want to ask you to give them to me, but not getting in any return. This would be the business transaction, of course, and I'll reward you generously. Well, we actually do have some Watts, so I wonder if I can help her out right now so here to share some watts so how many like to bear part if I say 10,000 how much would how much would that be what what would I get for this with over 5,000 watts I can't afford to have a hairstylist come to work at the dojo too whoa what really well make sure to stock up on a lot of watts guys because you can uh, come and uh, get some hairstylist stuff here so hello Dojo, it's lovely to meet you all. I'm here. For, uh, I, I, I'm uh, your new hairstylist. But I can't bear all the secret arts of the hairstyling to all. So when you like to uh, have something, uh, don't please call me in this room here. No cameras allowed, and no speaking of what you see inside this room. No, that's a real pro. True masters are always picky about their craft. But now that we can always look at our best, even out here in the wilds. Since so we got our over 10,000 watts, I can order a Rotomi uh, terminal for the Dojo. Oh, well, that's also pretty neat. So. Wow, so basically if you have 10,000 watts, you can literally get both of these two things immediately, without any problems. Nice, we actually have a, at least somewhat of a Pokemon Center here. That's nice. At least I can, like, heal up all my Pokemon and do all that. So to order a copy today, contact our sales department at what? Simply trying to gouge us for more watts. All these greedy, co uh, convenient business practices. I'm awfully sorry about this process, but it looks like uh, we'll need a bit more of your help to get the Rotimi. Uh, running, okay, up and running. So I guess we just keep on passing our watts. Here, show you some watts. Whoa, fifty thousand watts. Okay, I'm gonna probably have to wait out on that a little bit. Now I believe also too, from what I've heard, is is that uh, in the uh, when you're actually inside Olive Armor, you can actually go and talk to Honey at some point, and she will 
uh, want to go and speak to one of the Elite Four uh, champions over at any of the other Pokemon regions, like in Sinnoh or in Kanto or in Hoenn or whatever, and they will and, and uh, she will go and talk to them, and apparently uh, she'll get in contact with one of the Elite Four members and. Uh, She'll basically say like, "Do you want to join for this battle with uh, with, with your trainer?" And apparently, um, they'll basically say no because because it's going to be too far out of their way. And uh, it's kind of a neat little cameo to see uh, to see what that to, to see what goes around there. So I haven't really uh, seen that yet, but but that's what I've been uh, hearing recently. Oh my god! Oh, what the heck? Hey, it's Surge. He's running around with us. Oh, that's awesome. No, wait, hold on. Hold on. Let's just see this here for a second. Oh my god. That is awesome. That is so cool. I can't believe they brought back following Pokemon here. It just kind of sucks how you can only have it only here in the Isle of Armor, but you can't bring it to sort of to like the actual main game itself. That'd be fun. That'd be cool if they did that. So Cell Galio is going to be joining along for the... For journey here um let's actually try this out with Jirachi here too oh my god Jirachi's following us oh that's so cool all right well I guess what I'm going to do here guys is end off this episode uh I'm going to try and figure out on what we need to do next apparently uh we have to go to some sort of Isle of Armor view but uh oh my goodness I guess we can see something far off in the distance there. Is that a... Don't tell me that's Zero Aurora. I don't know what that is. How much time do we have left? 26 minutes? Let's actually go and head on over there. I don't know what the heck that is. What the heck is that? That has to be Zero Aurora or something. Oh, there's Malamars here too? Okay. I have to keep an eye on that. It's all the way down there. I guess we're gonna have a little bit of a longer episode here, guys. I'm gonna try and figure out on how I need to make it over there. I could probably cut this part out, but it's okay. What the heck is that? That has to be like a Gigantamax in Pokemon or something that's there. I know that's somewhere out in the in the water section here. No, leave me alone, art artillery. Where is this coming from? It has to be like in the water. Is it around here? Well, we're almost there. So it looks like it should be somewhere around this part here. Where? I think I think that's it. Could this be it? What the heck is this, man? Should I save my game? I have literally no idea what this is. Jirachi, I think I have to put you away for right now. I have literally no idea what this is here. Whoa, what the heck? Oh, okay, there's some gear. It's an Elgim? What is this supposed to be? Like, why is this thing here? Um, you know what? I think I'm just going to probably end off this episode. I'm going to go and try and figure out what this is all about. I don't know if this has to do, like, like if Elgum is going to get, like, a special boost stat or something. I don't really know. Um, but anyways, I don't forget to leave a comment, like, also subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'll see you guys then, and peace.